Today's show is all about getting ready for summer, and that also means staying safe in the sun, not just having fun in the sun. I don't know if you guys saw this, but there was a picture recently that went viral. It's of a truck driver who spent 28 years on the road, and because of the sun exposure to just the one side of his face, he looks literally 20 years older on one side than the other. If looking at that kind of picture doesn't make you guys want to wear your sunscreen, hopefully our next guest will. Please welcome back to our show, our buddy and my dermatologist, Dr. Ann Chappas. So, and I have to say, I guess I always thought as long as the window was up in your car, that you weren't getting sun damage or you couldn't get like a suntan. You right, know what I mean? right. That's not true, I guess. That's absolutely not true. And what you see in that photo is what happens from UV light exposure from the sun through the window over 20 years can be really damaging. But just UV light in general, we know, is really damaging. Unfortunately, in this country, over 2 million people a year develop skin cancer from ultraviolet light from the sun. Wow. And one person an hour dies from melanoma. So we really take this kind of ultraviolet light exposure very, very seriously. Seriously, there are some things you can do to protect yourself from ultraviolet light. And the number one thing we have people do every single day is we ask them to wear a sunscreen of SPF 30 or higher that blocks both the UVB light and the UVA light that comes through windows. I get mine from you. It's 40 Good. something. Yes. I slather it all 30 over 30 or my higher face. is yeah. perfect. Yeah. The other thing you can do is you can get some tints to your windows. So um, this does vary state to state, but you can check with your DMV and tinted windows if you are going to be in your car for long periods of time can also prevent that damage. But also don't forget you want to put your sunscreen on because when you leave the car you're also going to get light exposure. Right. You know on cloudy days everything we're always exposed to that. So you know that you can never be too That's safe. That's another misconception mm -hmm. is that if it's cloudy outside you're, the, the sun damage won't occur. That's not true. That's a misconception. 80% of UV light comes through on a cloudy day so don't forget to even apply on cloudy days. So uh, you know th that image is very startling but we're going to talk about different kind of imaging now that can show us preventatively or show us damage that's already occurred that maybe the naked eye can't see, right? Exactly. So there's a brand new uh, test that you can do in the Let's office. Walk over here. This is our over viewer, here. Christine, Christine, everybody. Christine, Christine. everybody. Everybody, Christine. And this is the, the Vizia complexion analysis system, and it really shows that, that ultraviolet damage below the skin that maybe we can't see on Christine's skin just looking at her, but we're going to take three different pictures of Christine and show you what's actually going on beneath the surface. Now, Christine, you're only in your mid-20s. Most young ladies your age are out on the beach like chickens, you know, rotisserie <laughs> chickens. They're out there yes. trying to get as tan as possible. Uh -huh. Why are you concerned about sun damage in your family? Um, well, I am a soccer trainer, so I'm mm -hmm. outside all the time, and I burn so bad. I've gotten bad burns, so I'm just a little nervous maybe if I do have sun damage ready, and mm -hmm. I'm only 24, so... And do you wear know. a lot of sunblock? Um, I try to do maybe 30 and above, if... I remember. But if you're also, if she's very active, you need to put that on again exactly. and again and again because yeah. you're sweating it through Even it. Even the mm -hmm. beach, too, going mm -hmm. in the water, I right. don't reapply, so. Yeah. Well, let's take a look. Why don't you have a sure. seat there and we'll, so, we'll see yeah. how this goes. So, Christine, you're going to put your chin right here, okay. okay, and put your forehead right on the top there, and we're going to find your image on the camera here. Okay. And here's, here's, here's Christine. And keep your eyes closed, Christine. You're going to hit the three flashes. And now we're going to see eight different pictures that are analyzing different components of, of Christine's skin. Gotcha. Um, it analyzes everything from sunspots to um, pore size to wrinkles. And these are the most common things that we see in, in ultraviolet light exposure. So here, here's the analyzing. That's so cool. It's pretty neat, right? Yeah. So it really it's, is. It's like going to uh, eight different specialists. <laughs> exactly. And and what's interesting is it's going to compare Christine's um, sun damage to other people her age. So we're looking um, right now at the eight different pictures, and we're comparing spots, wrinkles, the texture, the pores, the ultraviolet spots, the brown wow. spots, red areas, and pore friends. And in Christine's skin specifically, one of the things that jumped out is the brown spots. So um, one of the first things our body tries to do is protect our skin from the sun by coming by trying to pigment and make freckles. Unfortunately, when those freckles don't go away, there becomes sun damage. And in your case, you're, you have um, pretty significant sun damage. About only 9% of people of your age group have worse sun damage. Yeah. So we really want to jump on that and fix that. Can you reverse those numbers? We can. So starting a good sunscreen program and sun protection program is really key at your age. Um, and at any age in general, 
you just want to make applying the SPF 30 part of your daily routine. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then even at 24, you're starting to get some fine wrinkles. And just like the truck driver, that UVA light is what really stimulates the development of wrinkles. So you want to make sure you're, you're using that UVA and UVB sunscreen. Wow. Oh, my gosh. And moisturize. <laughs> Creams and potions. Creams and potions. Yeah. yeah. And it's really important at your age also to realize what's in between a freckle and a beauty spot and what could be potentially a cancer. And so we do like to educate our patients about what to look for, which are called the A, B, C, D, E's of our sunspots. So A is any spot that's asymmetric where one side looks different than the other. B is any spot with an irregular border. C is anything with more than one color. D is any spot bigger than a pencil eraser. And E is anything growing or changing. So if you find any of those freckles or sunspots fit that category, yeah. you really should see your dermatologist for an evaluation. It's okay. Okay. I know, exactly. it's, a, it's an eye opener, right? Yeah. So final tips? Final tips. Um, as we mentioned, don't forget to use that SPF uh, sunscreen every single day. People want to know how much to apply. It's simple. Nine teaspoons for the whole body. And it's one teaspoon per body part. So one teaspoon for your face, one for your chest, one for each arm. Apply it about 30 minutes before you go outside. And don't forget to reapply every 90 minutes Because you if really you're can just sweat right through yeah, it, especially someone who's active. Yeah. Exactly. You want to keep reapplying. Don't forget to put it under your bathing suit because swimsuits don't protect uh, you as well. I did not. I know that either. Duh. Of course. Thank you so much to my doctor, Dr. Chappis. Up next, I'll meet you guys in the kitchen right after this. Thank you, Christine.